We used data taken at the radio research station in Ditton Park near Slough um, to look at changes to the Earth's ionosphere during the Second World War. The ionosphere is the, the electrified part of the Earth's upper atmosphere and it's created when X-rays and extreme ultraviolet light from the Sun are absorbed by the atmosphere and, and electrifies it. Now, the work at Slough was routinely measuring the height and the intensity of these layers to, to understand how they vary. But what they didn't realise at the time was that they actually contained the signatures of the actual war itself. The Allies, and especially the RAF, started heavy bombing of German cities around about 1942-43. And by the end of the war, they were capable of dropping maybe 2,000 tonnes in one single raid. And we can see that the bombing of the uh, European cities actually weakened the ionosphere a thousand kilometres away above the UK. What we get with these readings is a bit of scientific detective work which allows us a glimpse at not just what was happening on the ground but the effects of bombing at the edge of space. Because we know the energies involved in these explosions that gives us a real quantifiable way of, of assessing how much energy is required to make the ionosphere wobble. And that's helpful because we know there are other natural things that could be generating such waves, such as earthquakes or volcanoes and even thunderstorms. So this is an astonishing uh, result, I think. It's a thousand kilometres away, 300 kilometres up, and yet we still see an effect.